Hello, welcome to another GUI tutorials. Um, this tutorial, I'm just going to be going over text boxes. So um, you get a text box, you type something in there, you click enter, and something happens. So that's what I'm going to be uh, doing today. Right, so let's get started. Insert your starter or screen GUI, which is your little folder to hold all your GUI components. Your frame, uh, we'll call that main just edit the appearance of it so change the size a bit uh, 0 0.5 0 0.5 whoa what just happened let's do that again okay it doesn't oh wait no it's because I'm changing the, the wrong one I meant to be using the scale not the offset okay 0 0.1 offset 0 0.1 offset yeah that'll do uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. Just need to change the color now to yellow. There we go. Now insert a text box into this frame. Uh, we'll just call it uh, chat box. It's very good. And now normally I would I would just show you how to I don't know make a text box, make a user type, and press enter. But I want to actually do something with the text box. I don't want to just uh, make it and let and let you do something with it. I want to actually give you an example of how these text boxes would be used. So I just want to give you a quick example of how one would be used. So we're going to make a little chat room. Not an actual chat room, but just a demo. So this is our text box. This is a text box, right? Not a text button. Good. I thought it was a text button for then. Uh, we're going to change the color of this to gray. Uh, Actually no, we'll make it we'll make it green. Oh, well, that's a horrible shade of green, but I cannot be bothered to go back and change it, so we'll have to put up with it. Font size 24. Okay, that's pretty good. And let's take some text out of it. So actually no, let's change the text. So, whoa, click to type. Okay. So now we've got a little text box. Let's insert a text button. Uh, I'm just going to keep the button up there because I can't be asked to change it. So we'll keep the button up there. We have a little text box down here. So what's going to happen is when I type something into the text box, uh, text box, and I click on the button, uh, let's call it button, not text button. Um, what's going to happen is I want something to happen. What what should what what do I want to happen? I don't know anything. Uh, I want a little label to appear inside this yellow area um, with the text that I typed into this box. So that would require me to move the button slightly downwards. Uh, position, just put it, I don't know, 0.4. There we go. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Um, right, so insert a script into the button. Um, there we go. Now we need our event for clicked script dot parent dot mouse button one down connect function blah blah blah. Okay. Looks pretty good. Now we've got our event. What we're gonna need now is to get the text from the chat box. So text equals script dot parent dot uh, parent dot chat box dot text. Okay, so you use the dot text property to get the text from a text box. Now we've got the text in this text variable. Uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to create a label. So label equals instance. If you still remember how to create a new object, it's a uh, instance dot new and then the object you want to create inside the speech marks I spelt that wrong there we go right so here we have our label now we're going to need to change the properties of the label so again we're going back to basic property changing uh, label dot size equals udim dot no udim2 dot new uh, one zero uh, point one zero yeah we'll make it that size that'll be good and we can keep it at the top so we don't want it going down 
we'll keep it at the top. Right. Now, so, what we're going to do is, uh, what should I do next? I don't need to change all the colours and everything. I can keep the colours the same, I don't mind what the colour is. Uh, so now what we've got to do is now say label.text equals text. So we're going to set the text of this uh, new label that we've created to this uh, whatever's inside this variable. Okay? And yeah, it's pretty much that simple, but I'm going to extend the task for you. Uh, let's just see if it does work first. I'm not going to keep it this simple. I will make it a bit harder for you. Okay, so text, hello there. Go. Nothing's happening. That's because. Oh. Hmm. Hello. Right. So. Something. Uh, here we go. We forgot to set the parent of the label to the main frame. Script dot parent dot parent. Okay. There we go. Now that we've set the parent of this label, we can go ahead and play solo. If you're not getting any of this code that I'm typing, make sure you go and see my other tutorials. I know I say this like every tutorial, but I don't want anyone watching these GUI tutorials without uh, without watching the beginner and advanced tutorials. Okay, so hello. There we go. Look at that. It works. It creates a nice little label. Awesome. Anyways, so... I'm going to give this thing a name. I'm going to give the label a name. Uh, label got a name. I'm going to do this, this for a reason. Uh, chatted. There we go. That'll do. Now, my task for you guys is to make it so that if uh, if a message has already been typed and you can see the label here, then next time you click go, instead of constantly creating new labels, all you need to do is update the text in that current label that's already there. So don't want to keep creating new labels. You need to just um keep updating the text, okay? Oh I'll, I'll show you what I mean. Uh let me just enter some text. Here we go. Hello. Click go. Okay, so every time I'm gonna click go, it's gonna create a new label. But okay, here we go. Here's the label, chatted. Here we go. Uh whenever I click go you can see that a new label is created and I don't want a new label to be created every single time I just want you to update one label I just want you to update the text in one label okay so you're gonna need to make a check to see if there actually is a label there already and then if there is update text if there isn't create new label right so I'm gonna complete this task myself um, you can pause the video now if you want pause the video uh, and then once you've done the task then resume the video and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do it okay so I'm just going to pause the video quickly. Okay, so <clears throat> I've just created uh, the task that I wanted you to do. Um, so it works now. And basically, what I wanted you to uh, what I wanted you to do is to make it so I can type text in here. I click go, and it updates the text here. Uh, and I'm going to constantly click go now. I keep, I'm, uh, keep clicking go, and there's still only one label inside the frame. I don't want multiple labels to be created. Just want one label. Okay. So whenever I update the text, updates. So that's looking pretty good. Now I'm going to show you how I did that. Uh, if you haven't done it already, just pause the video and do it yourself. Don't cheat. Um, but if you are a cheater, then fine, you win. Anyway, let's have a look. Um, what I've done is I made the little check. So I said label equals script dot parent dot parent. So get the frame. Uh, find the first child of the frame called chatted. So if there's anything inside the frame which with the name of chatted, then label will be equal to that uh, object which is called chatted. Okay. Um, if there's nothing equal to uh, chatted inside the frame, then label will be equal to nil. Okay. So that's why I made an if statement here saying if label, uh, which pretty means if label equals true. So if there's something inside label, then just update the text. So label dot text equals the text which I got from the text box. But if label is nil, so if there's no label, which means it's false, then we're going to go to the else section, create a new label here, and then update here. In fact, I didn't actually need to update it here. I can just say, all I need to say is, uh, if 
not a label so if there's no label create a new one uh, but if there is then ignore all this and just update it okay so after it creates a new one it's going to update afterwards so yeah that's pretty much it for this tutorial just teaching you how to get text from a text box not that hard uh, if you want to clear the text box after you press go each time then that will be simple just set the text uh, equal to blank string like this but anyway that was the end for this tutorial uh, so go ahead and do all sorts of things with this uh, chat box thing uh, now that's all the basics out of the way next tutorial um, yeah, for the next few tutorials I'm going to be going over different events that you can be using with uh, GUIs so it's going to be getting a bit harder uh, after but you know quite a lot already so it shouldn't be that hard for you to learn anyways I'll see you in the next tutorial then bye